so this is one of the filters that i use on my water top up system and it is basically just a big block of carbon and it pulls out all of the chlorine chloramines so that's awesome really good so i'm going to get one of these set up now these are good for about fifteen thousand liters i got this for about 12 pound and um, it means that i can do a constant water change system where i have fresh water coming in here and older water going out here to the little skimmer i've done a video on that i'll show you i'll link that in my bio but yeah this is what i'm going to put in now and this boy is upset because he wants me to put it in nice and quick and get this water change going don't you keep all these lads happy yeah let's get this put in so basically i'm just going to take this guy here off and get this unscrewed it needs two hands now can you guess which one is the old filter and which is the new filter this is crazy so this here is actually all stuff that's actually coming out of the tap this is the new filter and this is the filter basically the water was going like it's it's going in through this so that's all stuff that was in my tap water the stuff that we're drinking <laughs> out of the mains and um yeah so it's doing an awesome job and you can see here as well this is pretty murky looking it's a bit yuck and there's a little bit of sediment down the bottom so i'm going to get this cleaned out this clean one has already soaked for i left it in for about half an hour and basically i just i ran it all out so that there was no carbon kind of particles in it that are going to go into the pond or any dirt so i'm going to get that installed back into here we'll get that put back onto there and we'll get some clean water going back in here and uh, i'll just give you a quick look at this so see that circle right in the center that's raised up so when i put this end here down on it like this another one of these rubber gaskets down the bottom and it creates a seal now when I install this here up in here the water comes out there it, that is then sealed off around here so the water is going to go down here and it's going to have to work its way out through that filter and it comes up around the edges and that then allows it to flow it's quite dark allows it to flow up in through back up in through there out here and back into the pond so by the time it gets through all this, it's going to be nice and clean. Now I'm just running the other one through for another couple of minutes and just clearing it out just to make sure that there's no sediment comes out of it. But you can see here, I've broken this open. And that is the carbon inside. And what, like I said, water would normally flow down through that hole and it would be forced to pass out through these walls. And that carbon is just going to suck up all those chemicals like the chlorine and chloramines but it has got a maximum capacity so once you reach that it will start leaching it back out into the water but you can see there which is definitely not something we want but you can see there that looks really good like that's a serious amount of carbon and the water has to pass through that so they're absolutely awesome i love these things and it means then with the likes of the surgeon in the pond and just me goldfish and everything i don't have to worry about chlorine chloramines it's absolutely awesome now this would be the rate that I'd normally put the water back into the pond because I don't want to put too much water in too quickly and have things cool down a lot. You can see the current water temperature is nice and warm because I've got my heater on, 19.9 degrees Celsius and that, this, this filter is rated for about 4 litres a minute. After that it won't have the capacity to actually remove all the chlorine and chloramines and stuff so you want to be running it at its max capacity absolute mi maximum or lower if possible so this is running in at about a liter a minute and that means then if i am um, if i run it for an hour that's 60 liters if i run it for two hours that's 120 liters four hours it's 240 liters and that's getting close to a you know 25 percent water change on this pond which i'm happy to do kind of as often as possible um, and because i'm doing it really slowly that means I'm not wasting all the heat that the pond has because it's currently only about, you know, it's only a couple of degrees out. It was only two degrees last night. This normally has a lid on it to keep it insulated and uh, keep all these little babies growing. And all these big, beautiful fish like the panda here and the rest of them all in good form because these fancy goldfish, they don't tolerate the cooler temperatures like the regular long-bodied fish and koi do. But that's it. That is... um bit of a look at how I filter chlorine and chloramines out of my water to keep all these awesome fish happy it's 
So I'm gonna put the lid back on this now. We'll leave that running for the next two, three hours. The water's going under here. It go, it gets circle around so that there is water coming out down here. Not that you can see it anymore with all the plant. Um, it's coming, the water is kind of circling in and around the pond. Comes back here and my pump that goes up into the wetlands bog filter is located back here. There's also another outlet here from it that just helps increase the water flow kind of going around. And But there's an outlet here and that outlet, as you can see, with the little net on it, the inside, you can see some of the dirt that's get, after getting caught in there. Focus. Um, on that little net that is acting like a little surface skimmer so as the water level rises up over there and you can see there's a little bit of surface tension it's about to break over the top it'll start flowing out and that's how I do my water changes which is really handy and you know I have got where's he gone there's a sturgeon down here somewhere as well and sturgeons do not appreciate I think he's with the glide past on the bottom is he he usually does. I uh, can't see him there now. Hey Panda, he usually wants to be in all the pictures. Um, sturgeons don't t tolerate chlorine, chloramines, coppers, anything like that. So these filters are really good to have on it. So anyway, that's an overview on everything. I said I'd give you a look while I was doing it. And uh, I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.